All right, guys. So welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. So as per usual, we're back at it again with the squad, Trevor, Lamar, and Franklin. So on the last episode, we, we finally got Franklin a brand new house, right? I mean, out of the three, I think he's the one that's maybe, actually maybe Trevor's living worse than Franklin, to be completely honest. I don't think you can get any worse than Trevor, but I've always felt happy for Franklin, you know, moving on up. And uh, that's exactly what we're doing. Thanks to Lester, of course, and Michael and and all these crazy things that the gang is doing and shit. I mean, just robbing banks, you know, doing illegal stuff for the government, the FIB. Uh, the story gets pretty crazy. This is just the beginning. And honestly, I- Is that I, I, shit a present for not training you? Yeah, that's chop. He took a dump on the yeah, but uh, I was gonna say man. I, I wish I wish I had a house like this I mean this this is this is awesome if any of you have a house like this and you just want to gift it to me Just uh, you know, call me up I'll take free uh, free deliveries, you know, I'll be all right Anyhow today. We're gonna tackle some missions with Franklin and Michael and hopefully Trevor we uh Chop, don't get in the car, Chop, please. I did want to go and take a look at the map here, and I, and I wanted to honestly start customizing these guys just a little bit, just because, I don't know, just to make them a little bit more personalized, right? So we're going to head over uh, to the barber shop real quick. Maybe give him some braids or maybe a fade or, oh, he already has a fade. I don't know. We'll see. A fro would be nice, but then that means I wouldn't be able to wear hats. Or actually, I mean, you could, but wearing the hat eliminates the fro. What do you guys think? Or maybe a nice, crazy design. This is actually not bad. I Where like are that. My Fuck it. Let's go a little bit outrageous it here, you know? Just, just a little outrageous. Let me give this man a beard or a mustache. Oh, we have $302,000? Cool Van Dyke. Hmm. Yeah, the beard doesn't fit him well. Man, why can't I have a stubble though? Like, like you see how we have a stubble here? But the whole way. All right, we'll give him a stubble. He went from looking clean to looking bummy with a clean haircut. What do you guys think? Hmm. Yeah. We'll do it just Come for just for now, just to have something a little bit different, you know. And I'm, I definitely got to go take off the hat. So I guess that means we're we're gonna have to go to. We're gonna have to go to, uh, yeah, maybe a shop here. And we're probably also gonna have to steal a car because, you know, we kind of a big deal right now. I got a house on the hills, you know. I can't be rolling with a charger when I got a house on the hills. It just, it just, it just doesn't work out. All right. I wonder, I feel like this is gonna be some cheap shit. Oh, suburban. And I'm gonna park on the sidewalk because that's what real gangsters do. Or so they say. Look around. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, hold on. So if I speak to her, oh, she doesn't give me anything. Okay, we've got some jackets here. Oh, these are nice. Ooh. I really don't want to be here today. <laughs> okay. This is really nice. Um, probably gonna, I'm gonna buy a couple. I'm gonna Probably. No this exchanges. Nice. Did I mention that? That was dope. Oof. This was clean. All right. Look at these. Ah, oh, these are clean, man. Shit. Ooh, I like that. All I seem to do is cover the shifts of girls who've been sacked for getting too fat. Nope. All right, here we got all white athletic shoes. <laughs> what is this? Um, These are all like dress up shoes. Okay, here we go. A little bit more casual. Oh, what is it? The croc skins? Chestnut skate shoes? Oof, look at them Tims. 
Pop Hope around boots, it. baby. Fluorescent athletic shoes. That's probably something we'd buy for Michael or something. I don't know. Yeah, I like those. Oof. Clean. Browns hats. I'm not going to go with a hat. I'm just going to go without a hat. Okay. Oh, very nice. Very elegant. I like it. I think for now we're going to be a okay. What else we got here? I don't know. I feel like this is Franklin. You know, like this is his style. Like if he were to dress himself realistically, this is probably his style. The sizes run small if you want to avoid getting depressed. The sizes run small if you want to avoid getting depressed. Tops and shorts. Okay. Ooh, nice. is clean yeah i like this oh dude he looks dope dude let's go so much better franklin damn ah, damn frank take it easy hey now we look like straight money right right yeah, there we go slick oh you must be michael's boy oh Man, sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Ah, good to meet you. See yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn <laughs> stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course, you must be the creepy one. Not coming from you, please. Mmm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey. You two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. <laughs> Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. <laughs> Yes, we will, homie. Right, we'll go for red. Been doing black too much. We'll go for the red one. Black one might be faster, but red one should be okay. We're gonna go over to the gas station. This car sounds hard, man. Wow, quite impressive. You know what I was thinking about last night? Man, we need a new Mafia game. Like a Mafia game that goes back to the beginning. Kind of like Mafia 1 and 2. Man, I swear to God. I feel like playing Mafia 2 again. It was awesome. Beautiful game. Beautiful story. gas station at I did not remember this being this freaking far we keep going we got this hey Frank hey I'm nearly with these dudes man you guys comfortable on your end yeah I guess we look pretty ridiculous <laughs> all right man look I'll see you soon yeah we'll pick you up coming through grape seed Get the drivers there, and get them going at speed. Uh, 
Alright, here we go. Is this supposed to be a Maserati? Yo, those are dope ass cars. I'm man. telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does 2.7? Hey, how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Jesus Christ. Maybe I should have gone with the black one. I gotta follow them anyways. Oh, that's right, Frank. He's got that driving ability. I will only use it when I need it. Oh, wow, what an asshole. I don't remember we're supposed to beat them. I don't I don't think we're supposed to pass them. This is all a setup at the end of the day, so. Oh look at that. Sugar tits went left. Not a perfect run. Sunset. Long that is keep gorgeous. Rhythm, we'll pull this off. Coming up on Toledo Bay. You might gain some ground on him. Ooh, when I catch these assholes. How far they taking us? I can swear we've circled half the state. Frank's at the back. I think they want him to stop and take the booking. I don't think we've ever even been here in the story. Our like... patience will be rewarded. Stay with them. Time. You got an 
I feel like I'm playing Need for Speed, bro. Oh boy. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. Entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? All right, we got to make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! You stole the cars. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, uh... Hey, man, you know how hard it was to try small enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. Well, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Devin's lonely lawyer says go to Hayes Auto in South LS. So that's where I'll be waiting. Oh no, I like Michael's car better. Shit. Just see if you can stay with me. Oh, I smoked him. Holy cow. Oh man, I should have. Oh god! Whoa. What happened there? Hey, Frank. Yeah. What did I tell you, bro? These cars. Uh, this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what? Right before I met you, I was boosting rise and race. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> If I can keep this lead, I'll be able to get some alone time with Devin's lady friend. It ain't over till it's over, you heard? I wonder what happens if you lose. I don't think I've lost this race before. Hey, look. Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me fraction of what they worth. It don't sound that different to be honest. Now you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So he like to you what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. Now we're almost there, guys. There, we got Trevor fucking fucking up the game here, man. Oh God! You're oh, doing so good. What the hell is shit? Oh man, I, I still got the lead. What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just the smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, <laughs> help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't oh, get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job. Leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you, back off her. Are you kidding me? Am I gonna lose to these guys? Come on! Keep up! No, I'm not. Fuck that. Michael's car is sick. I should have stayed with the fucking car. I hey, love that color. Your car is still alright, right? Good to see you taking this seriously, Frank. Good management. If I'm finna do this, I'm finna do it right. So, uh, how your car, Mike? <laughs> My car is fine. Gee, I hope so. Cause I'm in charge of this shit. And I will dock your pay. The 
were stains on the seats for here when I got in. Oh, come on, team man, please. Start off so good. Ooh, that was a cop car right there. If I would have crashed, would have been screwed. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now. Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the mm. job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan in Howick. Follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Remember, we gotta go over to see Solomon, which is like Michael's a big fan of him. Or I think, I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, all right, can I take one of these cars here? Man, that's so messed up that I can't take one of these cars. You gotta be shitting me. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and uh, change Michael a little bit because my boy ain't looking too hot. We got oh, oh ow, no, you stupid oh, jeez! I'm gonna sue you for that unless you give me the car for free. Then, then, then I'll forgive right, you. Let's go. So, get out the way. Thank you. Oh God, our daughter's calling us. Tracy, baby, you call? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You <laughs> need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I will. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Wow. Thanks for the inspo. Right, here we go. This is around. more appropriate for Michael. If I do say so myself. Let's see. What do we have here? Got some suits. That'll look great on you. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Sportswear. Wetters. What is this? Shoes. How expensive are these sweaters? Hmm. I love how every store is kind of different. Like, the swagger is different. Suits here. Let's see. Let's try this out. Go black on black. That material is imported. Oh, no way. Say it ain't so, sugar tits. Okay. I'm gonna buy this. Oh, wow. We have a million plus dollars. I'm also gonna buy this. Nice. And I'm also going to buy this one. And honestly, even, even, even this one. Where is it? Yeah. Hm. 
Enjoy your purchase. Okay. Let me go ahead and uh No, no thank you very much. Jackets. I don't like that. Other suits here. Ooh, that's nice. We don't have a return policy. Black on black, say what? Black on black. I'm gonna go back to uh, something a bit more. Hmm. More pimp. All right. And then for the shoes, I hit them with these. You hit them with. Those are nice too. So are these. Who so are these? We're just going shopping today. What? What can I say? Oh damn. <laughs> Regular Browns. Can't go wrong with the Browns. Rock skin, alligator skin. Those are so comfortable. I think we're good. Is there any glasses anywhere here? I would like to buy a different set of glasses. Glasses are driving me insane. What do we have here? Oh, what the fuck? Oh man, I don't want to buy a if tank top. If you can't top. find your size, we'll order it. All right, I think we're good. I think this is good. I'm gonna do. Uh, just in case I forget, I'm going to save the game because the last time I, on the last episode at the end, when we finally got Franklin's house, I, I had to do that all over again before starting the Make recording sure session because I, I didn't save the game. But we're good. So we're going to go to Solomon now. That was his name, right? Terrible word names. I love this car, but it's so freaking slow. I grow impatient just driving it around. Gotta be presentable, man, right? We're a fan here. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Mm. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown! It's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. Lots of training montages. So what's the problem? 
Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> All right, so go to the east of Los Santos. I'm gonna take one of this guy's cars much faster. And here we go. I also forgot. I wanted to go to a barber shop to um to give Michael a better haircut as well. I feel like he needs it. Probably, probably be doing that eventually. Once we're once we're done with this mission, we'll see. We'll, we'll see where the story Don't takes us. Hey Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now I realized in my excitement I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God no. Is that an option? <laughs> no, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. All right. Kind of crazy because at first you, you see Michael, like his figure is like he seems like a leader, and then you know certain characters make him kind of drool. Pretty cool. He's a now fan, I guess. All. We're all a fan of somebody, I guess, at the end of the day. Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles. Implants, tramp stamps, all the real <laughs> shit. Tramp That's stamps. Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute That's here. Hilarious. Just a minute. Gotta go grab something inside. Gianni, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Alright, so reach the helipad without alerting Rocco. Sorry, guys, I had to text. We're knocking on my door. The wifey knocking on my door. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
concrete, pal, to make boots. You get me? We good? We clear? Gonna go higher? Kale chips? Nah, we don't got that. You want Molly? Molly? No, no, it's McElroy. Milton McElroy? I find me. Seriously. Alright, good. We're in the clear. Day trip's over, Jim. Gentlemen, you're going back to set. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> Good old Rocco. My pleasure. Come on, you little sucker! I'll oh, beat your guy? ass! <laughs> <laughs> all right, spray tan. We're gonna Spray make a new ten. deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Sure, man. Sure. All right. Mm. Let's get back to the lot. All right. Let's get the heli. Where's Trevor when you need him, right? Let's get out of here. Just hold, hold on. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talent. Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. Hmm. Angel Milton and Ensign Mines. Go. Solomon's office. Come on. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? Mm. I just gotta take him to the office. Wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this hey, story yeah. is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love you. 
So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. <laughs> Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Hell yeah. This man. Body scan will take place and target within the name of the criminal. Franklin, Public we'll exposure. <laughs> What's the deal, Franklin? Man, fuck that. I got a high ass, homie. One time I'll pick a brother up for any old shit. You want me to take it out on the LSPD representative sitting beside me? Man, just get the house. Do what we looking for is down that way. I'll follow the car. How it? You heard the man. Wherever you want to go. And the targets. How the fuck do we scan the targets? You oh, arrested so he's gonna fly my automatic. African American friend for a minor infraction? The LSPD disgusts me. Well, it's not me. I mean, there's some bad apples in the department, but any accusation of a racist culture, uh, you want to bullshit me? You can bullshit the freeway. We do community. Chad Mulligan here. I think it was these, um, these apartments. It's a free country. I know my rights. Ten years on the job and all they care about is the bottom line. Not Mulligan. It's him. You got him. She's showing it off. She wanted me to look. You're a very stupid man. Chad Mulligan to find where he's parked his car. 
Better be a damn good car. He's gonna crash. Yikes, under the bridge. Ass motherfucker. Me 
rear side of the garage. On my left, there's a man in a car. This better be him. This better be the guy. Yeah, I think it is. Hey, that's the motherfucker. Thank you, Ooh. Trevor Phillips. I know you think this car might be worth something. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's yours, man. Enjoy! I mean, that car's a bit flashy for my taste. Just... Put that down! Fine work, ground <laughs> unit! <laughs> this is a dope-ass car. This is a dope-ass car. Mr. Clinton. Hey, Mog, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. Personal. All right. Jeez. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just the dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dog. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. At least the ball, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, <laughs> you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just <laughs> say hello. Man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. All right, but we're off to Devin's personal hangar, which is fun. I don't know if like, uh, if we drive these cars and we do like less damage if we make more money at the end of the job or whatnot. I mean, it might be a little bit too late right now. This, this is going absolutely Go fucking terrible. On the score, kid. Man, it's hard driving with you up there watching me, dog. I get self-conscious and shit. Mm. Bust the left here, all the way around. About to take that ramp. I might fuck this car up. Don't risk my chances. Hello. Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Thank you, sir. Devin West, oh my god, the whole fucking... Wow, huh? That's insane. That's like money. Like having a jet charter company, that's like, you gotta have money for that shit. <laughs> that's intense. Pretty intense. Where is it? Get back in the car, really? I mean, you see the car, it's clearly right here. Just gotta park it in the red square. Stupid me. Actually, no, I don't know. I don't know how to see that. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they make? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. <laughs> oh, wow, man. You one of them type of things, huh? Tell you something. How would you like to drive a car like this one, man? For real. Like this? Or this. Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Just take any car and go. Isn't this the car Michael has? Yes, yeah, just like Michael's car. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be rocking with that crap. 
about to rock with this uh, Ford GT wannabe. Yeah, you know Redwood cigarettes? La Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. There Lamar. are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes. I don't know why I thought this was Lamar. Actually, Lester. I don't think we need another weapon, though. I think we should be good. I actually like this haircut for Franklin, man. It looks dope on him. I didn't think it was gonna look dope, but kinda kinda growing on me. I like it. Kinda like an illusion between having a fade and having braids, cornrows, I guess. I don't know. I like it. Chump, Franklin on the job. You don't whoop that ass. All right, we're gonna take this road. Sniper's definitely gonna be the, the uh, best bet here. Especially right now, there's no civilians because it's nighttime. I mean, it's really, really early. People are not out partying just yet. This is perfect. Man, I'm sorry. Man, I'm sorry, bro. the girl too my bad <laughs> that was the report of the plan it just happened that way man whatever would we do without this sniper just coming in super clutch right now and i'll go back to saying it hey this is a ps3 game dude it looks fucking insane it still looks and plays better than so many tens and tens of open world games out there. It's fucking nuts. Like, I don't understand how... I don't, I don't know. I cannot wait for GTA 6. I feel like that's gonna be... That's gonna change the fucking game. Not the goddamn car! Out. That's that's gonna be crazy. Like 
that's gonna make people's careers, honestly, at, at some point. People are gonna start being like just like pure GTA, GTA YouTubers. Please don't catch fire. Well, that's okay. Got a new whip now. Don't need that one anymore. Don't want it actually. No way. This is electric. An electric lotus. Oh, this is dope. So quiet. Pay attention. Oh lord. <laughs> this is the scaffold. Lester better appreciate this shit. In your GPS now, biker, Pinewood Hills. Look for bar for a bardy, uh, for a baddie bike. Got to move ass. Don't like work hmm. too hard. Or... Damn, I ain't got much time left. Wait, how much time we got left? I don't think I see the timer. Done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch. Multi target assassination. Sweet Jesus. This looks even doper now with a jacket. Varsity jacket. Sick as fuck. Boy Franklin coming on up. Ever heard of Jackson Skinner? He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. Watch the process. <laughs> ah, this game of the words, dialogue, characters, second to none. Alright, let's go watch the prostitute. What is the name of this car? A cockette? <laughs> it's supposed to be a Corvette. Is that, is this, does that say cockette? Oh gosh. That's fucking hell. Hey yo, what up, That must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. You want to party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. I right, just got to kill the driver. That's all. At the car? What up, girl? You won't get down? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Whatever. You ain't nothing. I'm out of here. <laughs> Whoa! 
Oh, yes. Hey, stop by the hotel later. Hey, baby, what can I get for 10 bucks? You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Damn, girl. You can get the bus home and jerk off. Wow, what a line. That's gotta be him. Hey, baby. You miss me? I was starting to think you weren't coming. You know, I wouldn't feel bad about it. Just like that, ladies and gents. Beat that ass up. With my cock hats. Job has been done. Assassination sealed and delivered. You're awake, so Hey, buddy. Hey, man, I'll wipe that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. Nice. Mission passed. Now we've got another mission for Lester. Fuck. What's up with this man and all these crazy assassination missions? I mean, might as well do them, right? This is we're not bad, and we're, we're getting a decent amount piled up to our bank account, if you will. Right, this is probably the last one. I don't remember. I remember the first one. This last assassination. I don't know if I remember that one exactly. I, don't that one. I mean, we we play so many games on this freaking channel. My mind cannot store all the memories that we've had along the way. It's just impossible. Yeah, Label me stupid, but hey. Lane! Damn, man. Hmm. So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Get the bus. Okay. Big little oh, burnout. Shit. Never heard nobody. Uh, I saw. Oh, so this mission, I really don't remember. Do we have to drive the bus? Can I turn right here. Franklin's excellence having skills i love how much better the graphics look when you go in this mode as far as reflection and ray tracing it looks insanely crazy look <laughs> look at the highlights and all that shit what the fuck was that franklin right, here we go i'm driving damn freaking bus Drive each uh, to each bus stop until the target is located. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Sorry. Kind of new here. Don't really drive a bus much, but you know, I'm an assassin. Man, I don't remember this. Mission. Hey, sorry, I'm late. It's my first day on the job. Exactly. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. Left at the uh, next street. What happened to the old bus driver? I really like that guy. What are you trying to say? You don't like me? Huh? Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? <laughs> oh, there's a cop car. Be careful with that. Looks like him. Hey, get in. We're running late. Oh, man. There's an up and atom burger box under my seat filled with vomit. 
Guess that's not him. Hey, look out! We got those seatbelts back here! Hey, you shut the hell up. See if the next stop's got the guy. God, these wide turns are killing me. Fuck. I don't know how bus drivers and truck drivers do it, man. man you gotta turn wide as hell on that shit. Well, Especially the you're truck late, drivers. late, late. That'd be one fit. Mr. Penny, ain't he? Hmm. Bear hike. Forget about it. Spent thrifts. <laughs> <laughs> Blame it on the city! Oh, oh my god! He's got a gun! I'm calling the police! Please hold on to your fucking seat! Stop the bullets, you idiot! Hey, I thought you needed a ride, homie! Why you bill? Just be a shit, you know how it is. Alright, well, I failed the mission, uh, because the cops kicked my ass. So I had to redo it, and well, I just ran him over, and well, I guess that was just a much easier solution. <laughs> Man took a bike like an idiot. And well, I'll take the bike too, so why not? Uh, there we go. <laughs> Yo, this is hilarious. Green light, good to go. Awesome. Mission. With this car, which looks absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> what is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Hmm. Yes. Hi. <laughs> oh. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazzo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The yes. truth. Martine is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people, <laughs> they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. Uh. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down. And get the files back. A oh, man, what's up, eh? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want the drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que no con las gentes aquí? Sorry. You grab a vehicle, something personal. I'll handle the gun. All right! Oh, God. You are utterly ridiculous. What's the observatory? What the fuck? Oh, there it is. I was like, man, what happened to the car I came you in? You need anything? Get me on the headset. All right, this might be the last mission. Let's let's make it count here, guys. All right. Looks like I'm playing a Hot Wheels game with this car. Huh? It's quite ridiculous. It's quite awesome. I wonder if I go and cut through. Like if I can get there quicker. Maybe I shouldn't cut through. That's okay. Sometimes when I end up cutting through, I just end up delaying the inevitable. I don't want that. I don't want that. Yikes, man. Fuck. Mike, Mike, you there? I got some poor bastard's dirt bike. Yeah, OK. 
Okay, well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. The what? guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him. But it does mean he's got money to pay people... ...people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? Yo, what happened? All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. T, hmm. if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. I don't see nothing yet. I got her. Southwest of the city. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. That's it. <laughs> the plane will need multiple shots to be taken down.
thing, but seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road. What an excessive one. Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Drop off the gun as well. Ay, ay, ay. So we'll continue going this way, maybe. Destroy the van. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No problem. Go ahead and do a little bit of a. Really? Oh, come on, man. This fucking LMG. That's cool. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Dude, if that shit would have blown up. What? Kidding me, dude? Fine. This is a disaster. Oh, Yo, what the heck? First, the car on the tree. Now, this crap. Kick his ass out. Man. What the heck even is this episode? Oh my gosh. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works. A little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor. <clears throat> Trevor! <sighs> I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't oh believe gosh. that. Go this way. We just go down this way completely. Probably a bad idea. Damn. Yes, definitely a bad idea. That's only gonna delay the entire process. Nice, huh? Where oh, is shit? He? Totally totaled the car. His car, man, that piece of turd, <laughs> huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened, cheap bastard? You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor, don't. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work, and he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, 
I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you pop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called oh, shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out. You know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will. A cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Dude, bro. This is savage. Menace to society, I'm telling you. A menace to society. Fucking Trevor, man. Trio, homie. Go fetch. Get the ball for me, boy. Chopper, come here. You hood, chop. You hood, chop. <laughs> oh man, we're out here playing baseball with my dog. Let's get it. All right, guys. So check it out. We're gonna call it quits here. I think this was a successful episode, indeed. Decent amount of missions, some fails, some. Good times as always. Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying the GTA 5 PS5 walkthrough, make sure you guys drop the video a like. It helps me out. And as always, catch you guys on the next one.